The new update for Fusion 360 is here, and for May 2022, we have some exciting new features to share with you. First, we're introducing new functionality that will enhance the existing 3D milling toolpaths. This new machining extension preview adds 5-axis tilting to parallel, scallop, pencil, and more. Who says you can't teach old dogs new tricks? Use these familiar toolpaths with the added benefit of tool axis control, like to and from points and curves or automatic collision avoidance. Note that this preview is limited to ball and lollipop end mills only. 5-axis isn't always needed, however, and often 3 plus 2 will do the job just fine. But how do you know when you're able to reach all of the areas you need to machine? The Accessibility Analysis Shading Tool is an incredibly useful feature that can visually indicate where a tool can reach. And we've added this shading tool directly inside of milling toolpaths so that you don't need to leave the operation you're working in. Another operation dialog improvement you'll notice is the three dot menu. Operation parameters have the powerful ability to be driven by expressions and be set to user defined defaults. However, this functionality was less obvious for parameters that were not an input field, such as checkboxes. The three dot menu is a more intuitive way of harnessing a powerful feature that may not have otherwise been discovered. Fusion 360 sometimes needs to communicate something about an operation back to you, like a warning when something needs your attention. We've updated the icons and messages in the operation browser to more easily identify the various states of operations and when you need to know something important. If you find warnings that don't apply to you, make your operation tree neat by hiding warnings that you've reviewed by enabling the Hide Warning Messages preview. If you're an avid user of expressions, you'll appreciate this update to the tool library. Expressions in a tool definition will now persist when editing a tool. If you write an expression, for example, that defines the step down as a ratio of the tool diameter, editing that field again will show the expression as opposed to just the evaluated number. Great for recalling how you came up with the value used in the first place. A big update for turning this month is the new groove suppression feature. Now available in many turning toolpaths, groove suppression gives the ability to select surfaces on the model that associatively update where the tool should not dip into the selected areas. Great for controlling specific areas as opposed to all or nothing. For additive manufacturing, we are merging the additive simulation capabilities into the additive build extension, simplifying the use of simulation for metal additive printing and eliminating the need for two extensions. Enable this preview and preferences to try it out. Another improvement for additive in this update is better automatic orientation. Positioning is one of the first steps in preparing a print, and we are adding a new option called center of gravity height to optimize for the lowest center of gravity. Support structures also receive an enhancement this month. We are adding templates to choose from that target additive setups such as SLA or MPBF to simplify what are otherwise difficult decisions to make. In addition, mesh face groups can be selected as a target for support structures or as areas to avoid. Thanks for watching this month's update. Don't forget to check out the blog post to see what else is new in Fusion 360. See you in the next one.